what's going on, everybody? Dan's Midwest Angling here. And the spring walleye run is in full swing. We're up here in the old, good old Wisconsin River. Nakusa stretch. It's walleye days. We're out here at the zoo. Both all around. If you live in Wisconsin, reminder that your fishing license is now due. Had to buy that in the truck at the gas station this morning. My boat also needed to be registered. So it's been kind of an expensive trip so far. Walleye limits are also officially changed statewide. You're down to three fish instead of five. Personally, I think it's a good thing. A lot of people that watch my channel regularly know my stance on like live scope. And uh, I generally think that we just need to be killing less fish. I think selective harvest is the way the way to do it. I'm not a big fan of being a meat eater and just keeping everything you catch. Chris is here. Hi. We're gonna try and uh, make our first open water video of the year. I've been trying. This is now my third attempt out with the boat. And uh, last week I caught one fish. It was a keeper, but one fish a video does not make. I'm also really excited to announce that at the end of this week, that's coming up, I'll be doing my first fishing camp video, which is where I got a, I got a bunch of real compact camping gear. And I'm gonna find a spot somewhere along this here river and camp for the night, wake up right on the water and get fishing right away. I don't know where that landed. Kinda of scared. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fish. Yep. I don't know. It's no, it's like a it's a natural phenomenon. <laughs> or no, that is line. Yeah, he swallowed something. The scissors might get in there a little better. Yeah. I see that. How we doing? Hey. I got the hook. You just do some. hook out of that guy's throat, so be free. I didn't think that could happen. I don't know why I didn't think it would happen, but... Now you've lost a minnow already, right? Just from sitting there? Yeah. They're, they're here. They're biting.
Ooh, that's a better one. Uh, no, nah, never mind. Oh. <laughs> you good? Yep. It might be. That's a better one. Yup. There. <laughs> That's an eater. Yep. Uh, 16. Stop it. Stop it. 16. That's 17, and I looked at her again. I'm like, ah, not quite. Oh yeah, use your voodoo stick. I mean, he nailed that thing. There it is, that's dinner right there. I'm almost thinking that's not a walleye. That's a sturgeon. Hey, I have never actually caught one of these before. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to touch them. Ouch! Look at that. Oh no, I got him in the mouth. Yep. How about that? He was just all wrapped up. But wow. You gotta watch his them plates on the side. They are sharp. <laughs> so I dropped them right away. I flash on. Yeah, these things are sharp. Yeah. Well boys, I never caught a sturgeon before. It's not massive, but man, that's freaking cool. Back he goes. Oh. I don't know. We probably should have measured him, but oh well. He swam away. He's free. But he was hooked in the mouth. That is the important thing. Yeah. Officially getting blown up. Oh, it's a little guy. Definitely a short. I thought I got hooked on something because it's when we were swinging in the wind. Could have been. Quit doing naughty stuff in my boat. 
He's little and he's full of you know what. Ugh. Timu rod is uh, officially cooked. take back my endorsement in the previous video. I do, I think the, re the reels are, are nice. I, I mean, I think for $10 reels, I think they're pretty damn good. But I do believe that I broke that setting the hook on that fish that I just missed. If you do want to stay around for supper, be my guest, whatever it ends up being. <laughs> well, even if even if you don't, even if you fail, we'll still feed you. Minnows, right? Yeah, <laughs> at Mac and Minnows, right? Yep. Batter them, deep fry them, eat them all. Yep. Oh yeah, that's the Walter. Oh no! Jeez. That might be keeper number two for our fish fry this evening. Uh, I bet he's, he, he's close. Oh, what do you think? 14 and a half? 14 and like... Oh, like 7, 8. Oh, he's so close. Oh, what a shame. Almost. Almost a keeper. You know... I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but I do have this pink spinner rig sitting right there. I was going to say, I, uh, you, like, that's the one that's getting hit the most, so. Yeah. I was just going to ask about that. I've even, I've even got a couple more of these banana weights if you want to get her set. Because that was three that, that's been three hits in the last 15 minutes. You kind of can't argue with those. Good? Uh, I can't, I don't think so. I think it's a I think it's just a little fella. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh, I got him right under the chin. Look at Boy, 
you get a number to this bait though. Yeah. The hook's fine, it's the the Kai Tech was a little bit. Kai Tech had some battle skies on it. That was ironic though, how I said. Yeah, I haven't been catching anything on that side. And then the first cast that I make over there in quite a while. Bunch of damn fish. You know, that's one thing that I've noticed fishing with Chris is it seems like one of us always does way better than the other one, and it changes. You know, it goes back and forth. We had pretty good days together. Right, but, but like a lot of times, the one, day is, one, is, one of us will knock them out and the other one can't catch a cold. Like, I don't know how that works, but it does somehow. <laughs> Got him. Good. Nope. Maybe. Yeah. In that, again, in that like 14 and a half inch range. I'm not even gonna bother. You got the poop in it. I don't know. Yeah. I would say a bark right there. Stop it. Stop it. 14 and 3 4. <laughs> yeah, really. 14 and 7 8. Jeez. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. There he is. Just a wee bit too short. No walleye fry for Christopher. Oh, that loon just <laughs> over the water. <laughs> yeah, I'm pointing my head at it, thinking like, oh, this would be like a real cool piece of B-roll. This river is so disgusting. <laughs> Yeah. You get right on that. You can get it you in Maine you can get a stupid license plate with the friggin' moon on it. This bird that can't fly without water. It's a tubby aquatic bird. <laughs> this does feel like it might be a better fish. Closer. I'm not sure. Can he do it? I, <laughs> I, if that happens, I'm sorry. We're <laughs> sad. If that does happen, I would just simply have to chalk it up as the plastic. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
because it doesn't look like you're doing it any differently than I am. You know, just... Right, I'm gonna bomb one last cast. That feels like a better fish. Professional net man here. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm sorry, dude. Little guy, possible closer. Oh, he's got one. He missed it. I felt that hook pull right out of his mouth. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. I was really pulling for Chris at the end. And um, it just didn't happen. I got my butt kicked. And I guess it just kind of goes to show we are in the same boat, you know, feet apart. We're using, I mean, like, probably like 75% exact same stuff. Yeah, when you look at what you got on, like what I got. I mean, they're slightly different. Just to show, these two baits are very similar profiles. I mean, there's really just no reason why, but whatever it is. Kind of crazy how that stuff works sometimes. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed watching this, hit that like button. And if you want to see more fishing adventures in the future, make sure that you subscribe. This has been Dan's Midwest Angling. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.